For a little over three months now, I've been using the Insta360 Ace Pro here to capture my adventures. Throughout that time, I've learned a lot more about the strengths and the weaknesses of it. For example, it is labeled as an action camera, but after using it extensively, I would put it more in the point and shoot or vlogging category. It's a camera that you can use for your action packed adventures, but you do have to be careful with it. Aside from that, I also discovered many new tricks and found some great accessories along the way that take this little camera to new heights. So in today's video, I want to share with you guys some of the best settings and accessories that will help you get the most out of your little Insta360 Ace Pro. So let's get right to it. First, we're gonna kick things off with the best settings. The Ace Pro is not an overly complicated camera, which is a good thing because that makes it a great option for beginners and pros alike. That said, it doesn't have many settings that need to be tweaked to get the most out of it. It does have a bunch of different color profiles and filters to switch between, but I find myself defaulting to the standard and flat profile most. The standard profile produces footage that you can just use without much adjustment, but if you want more flexibility when editing using the flat profile is the way to go. I shoot mostly at 4K 30 frames per second with the standard profile at medium sharpness with standard stabilization and I've been getting some pretty solid results out of this camera. Another benefit to shooting 4K 30 or below is that active HDR kicks in to make things look noticeably better. Even though the Ace Pro can shoot 8K video, 4K is where it truly shines. If you shoot often in low light environments, I recommend switching over to the pure video mode. Pure video is this essentially a low light mode that makes the footage out of the Ace Pro actually usable. I shot a lot in this mode when I was out at Disney and Universal earlier this year. It definitely salvaged a lot of shots that would have otherwise not looked so good. Another feature that I like using on this camera is free frame. If you're filming something and you don't know if you want to shoot it horizontally or vertically, free frame is a great way to shoot because it gives you the ability to crop for both formats. This gives you an insane amount of flexibility and the best part is that you don't have to shoot things twice in both formats. For stabilization, I mostly swap between low and standard. It depends on what I'm shooting. The high setting crops a little too much for my liking into the frame, but it works well if you need it. I would only use it if you're doing intense activities that require it. And the last tip that I have is to take advantage of AI highlights. This is one of my favorite features of the Ace Pro. The camera automatically detects the best portions of your footage so you can save space on your micro SD D card and shoot more. Technically, this auto trims your clips, so it makes editing things together when you're done a breeze. It's not always going to be perfect, but nine times out of 10, it does a great job selecting a solid shot. If you have the Ace Pro, this is something you should definitely start taking advantage of. As far as accessories go, there isn't a whole lot that I use with this camera aside from the essentials. First, I use Insta360's own glass screen protector since the screen on the Ace Pro is prone to scratches. I learned this the hard way when mine got scratched up on a ride at Disney. It was totally my fault though, I should have had this screen protector sooner. Next is this Sinova case. Again, another thing that I wish that I had earlier. This hard case fits right on the Ace Pro even if you have it mounted since the bottom of the case is open. Another accessory that I recommend is this Yelanzi extendable mini tripod. I've used my Ace Pro with a variety of different grips and this is one that I find myself grabbing most. It's light, compact, and very well built. The second to last accessory that I have is this plastic frame cage. I have no idea how to say the name of the brand, but I found this recently on Amazon. Despite it being plastic, this cage is solid, protective, and extremely versatile. The best thing about it is that you can easily mount the Ace Pro horizontally or vertically on the quick release mount. This cage brings one of the things that I love most about the DJI Osmo Action 4 to the Ace Pro. And last but not least is the Insta360 GPS preview remote. With this remote, you can easily preview your shots and remotely control the Ace Pro. It comes with two silicone wrist straps, so you can rock it on your wrist as a watch. Unfortunately, there is no multicam support with this, but if you're just using and traveling around with your one Ace Pro, this remote is an invaluable tool to have in your bag. Oh, and I did almost forget get a spare battery. It is always useful to have one of these around. To start wrapping things up, the Insta360 Ace Pro is an excellent little camera. There is no doubt about that. Once you understand what it is capable of, you're gonna capture some impressive photos and videos with it. If you have the Ace Pro, hopefully everything that I shared here will help you understand it better and grasp its full potential.
So that's about all that I got for this video, my friends. I hope you enjoyed it and found it helpful. If you did and you liked what you saw, you know the drill. Be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button because it always helps out the channel. Also, don't forget to follow Avery Strauss on X, Instagram, and TikTok for so much more. Until the next one, I will catch you guys later. Peace!